Hello, I'm Shuli Ghosh in Doha. Here's a look at some of the stories on Al Jazeera. Thousands of people are on the move in Haiti 10 days after the devastating earthquake. The government plans to relocate half a million homeless people, but some aren't waiting around. Tony Bertley has more. The Haitian government is providing free buses for people to leave Port-au-Prince. Others use any means of transportation they can. That includes boats. Three hours along the coast at Port La Carriès, and these are the newest Haitian boat people. They are heading for the island of La Gonave. Nearly 500 people taking whatever they can carry, crammed into the most basic of vessels. Nearly every person in this boat has either lost a relative or their home. Some have never been to La Gonave before, but to them it means safety, and a few hours of discomfort is a small price to pay. Most of these people don't have a place to go to or any family, but are telling me there's nothing to lose. The unknown is preferable to the daily desperation that's going on in Port-au-Prince. The Africa Cup of Nations football tournament is about halfway through, but while the players have been enjoying a billion-dollar stadium in host country Angola, the people of the oil-rich nation still suffer in poverty. Andy Richardson explains. During the week, Simao Afonso is an English teacher, but on Saturdays, he plays football in the street leagues of Petrangle, a slum on the outskirts of Luanda. <laughs> a street league not from choice, but the necessity of circumstance. We should be playing on grass, we should be playing right in school. There should, be, there should exist or there should be schools that teach soccer from, from the early time, from young guys. According to a US government report, Angola has the highest infant mortality rate in the world. Average life expectancy is just 42. For the majority of children, disease and malnutrition all have to be negotiated before any career can be contemplated, never mind that of a footballer. The scene outside the Angolan football team's training ground says so much. Poverty living next door to wealth, ambition coexisting with frustration. And you can find the latest on those stories as well as the other news we're covering by going to aljazeera.net forward slash English.